In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra. Now, I'm going to be pairing mine with a Samsung phone, but the steps should be similar to a non-Samsung Android phone. So the first thing you want to do is turn your Ultra on. So you're going to find the button that has the little orange line on it, and we're going to press and hold for a few seconds until the Samsung logo appears. So I'm going to press and hold. And I'm still holding. Still holding. And there we go. We finally get the Samsung logo. So I'm going to put this to the side until it finishes its little startup process. And now over here on the phone, you're going to want to find the Play Store. So I'm going to use the Google Play Store. The icon looks like this. If you don't have it on your home screen, you can also swipe up here. You should have a list of your apps here. Here's Play Store. And as a last resort, you can tap here to search if you need to. And you can search Play, and it should probably show up around here. And then you can just tap on that. And over on the watch here, we had a little thing that said welcome. Now it says Galaxy Watch Ultra. And it says you'll see a pop-up on your phone to help you connect. And if you don't see it, try connecting in your phone's Galaxy Wearable app or Bluetooth settings. And if you scroll down, you can also access language settings, accessibility settings, or some additional help. And it looks like you can also make an emergency call with a watch even before you set it up. So I don't seem to have gotten this pop-up. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's okay. If you didn't get it either, all you have to do is open your Play Store app. And we're going to go here to the search bar. And we're going to type in Galaxy Wearable. All right, now I'm going to press the little search icon. And this is what the icon should look like. It is a Samsung official app called Galaxy Wearable. And if you already have it installed like I do, you'll see an open button. If you don't have it installed, you'll need to download and install it first. So whatever you see here, go ahead and tap on it. And also, if you haven't downloaded this before, you might need to create a new Samsung account and it'll go through the steps to help you do that. All right, so if you're like me and you already have a Galaxy Watch uh, connected to this app, you'll need to find this little shape icon here at the bottom and then tap on that. And this is if you have the most recent uh, Galaxy wearable app. So if not, there might be a three hamburger line here that you can tap on, but for the most recent app, you tap on this weird little shape circle icon thing. And then to add a new device, you'll tap on this plus sign here. And now it says it's scanning for devices to add. All right, now it says pick your device. And if you have a lot of uh, devices paired like I do, you may have to scroll down and it says available devices, Galaxy Watch Ultra. And if you have more than one Galaxy Watch Ultra in your household, you can also use this four digit alphanumerical code here to make sure you're adding the correct one. So I'll go ahead and tap here. And it's saying check the number on your watch, confirm on your phone. So it does the same and I'm gonna go ahead and say confirm. All right, now we need to agree to some permissions. So there's a Samsung Terms and Conditions, Galaxy Wearable Privacy Notice, those are required. You can optionally send diagnostic data to Samsung, and you can optionally agree to automatic updates for Galaxy Watch Ultra. Um, you can also just tap here to agree to them all. I personally am going to only agree to the required ones, and if you want to read a little bit more, all you have to do is tap here on Details, and you can scroll and read as you would like. So once you make your selections, go ahead and tap Continue. Now it's asking to allow Galaxy Watch 7 Manager to access Galaxy Watch Ultra. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Allow here. And now it says getting ready to connect. This might take a few minutes. And we have a increasing percentage completion. All right, now it says getting Google account info, and this might also take a few minutes. Okay, now it says sign in to your Google account. And this is only if you want to use uh, your Google account on your Samsung Ultra Watch. If you don't want to do that, you can tap here to skip and continue on. If you have multiple accounts, you'll need to select which one you want. And if it already shows the one you want, you can go ahead and tap continue. And it looks like I need to unlock to continue. And now it's signing me in. All right, now we have some Google Terms of Service to agree to, but it looks like we can optionally uncheck these. 
So you'll probably want to enable location if you're going to use GPS for any of your outdoor workouts, or if you want to get weather on your watch as location permissions will be required for those two features. Once you make your selections, go ahead and tap I agree. All right, now it's telling us about automatic watch backup. Your watch data and files will be backed up periodically when your watch is connected to your phone. So you can go ahead and tap next. And it's checking for this smart switch or the backup on this watch. All right, so now it says smart switch on watch uses these permissions. So if you want to allow this, go ahead and tap allow. You can also tap deny if you prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and choose allow. And it was checking for backups, and now I can restore a backup from the list below, or I can set up as a new watch. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set this up as a new watch, but if you want to, you can go ahead and restore your previous watch settings, and I'll tap set up as new watch. It says select quick button action. So you can open your exercises, open multi-sport workout list, you can have specific exercises. You can have a stopwatch, flashlight, water lock. Looks like those might be the only ones we can choose in the movement. So I'll go ahead and just leave it as open my exercises. And I'll go ahead and tap next. And set your wearing preferences. Choose a wrist and button position for how you'll wear your watch. So this helps Samsung know which direction to display the display. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my right wrist and if you want to have the buttons on the left of the screen, you'll see on the display here, it will flip the display. So that's for if you're going to wear it like this. So now the display will be displayed correctly. I think I'm actually going to keep it on the right of the screen. So I'm going to flip it back, but go ahead and make your selections there and then go ahead and tap next. All right. So it says you can create your own multi-sport workouts. And I'll let you read through that if you'd like. I'll go ahead and tap next. You can also create custom workout routines. So you can create a workout routine now or you can do so later and just go ahead and tap next. You can also check your body's battery level. I'll go ahead and tap next. This is just going through some of the newest features. You can also understand your sleep for better rest. And I do recommend go ahead and tapping here on advanced measurement. Now you can make your selections here. So by default, blood oxygen and skin temperature are enabled during sleep. If you're not interested in either of these features or measurements, you can go ahead and tap here to disable them and that will save some of your battery. Um, but if you are interested in some of these features, you may want to keep them enabled. Also, if you want to do snore detection, you will need to allow Samsung Health to record audio and then you can make your choice here. And I'm gonna say don't allow, and you'll see that you do need to allow it for snore detection. So I'm gonna go ahead and say cancel, and then snore detection is gonna still be disabled. So go ahead and make your selections there and then tap continue. And you can also find out if you're at risk for sleep apnea. I think you need to have the blood oxygen on during sleep for that feature to work correctly. So. I'll go ahead and tap next. Uh, another new feature is you can double pinch to control your watch, answer calls, dismiss alerts, play or pause music, take a photo when the camera app is open. I'll go ahead and tap next. You can also get help in emergency with emergency SOS, hard fall detection, and it does have a siren if you press and hold the quick button for more than five seconds to play a siren sound. So I'll go ahead and tap next. And now it says finishing up, this might take a few minutes. And while you're waiting, you can tap here on the tips and user guide, but it looks like that uh, went to 100% pretty quickly. So there we go. So on both the watch and the phone, it tells me I'm all set. And now I see my Galaxy Watch Ultra. It came with 87% battery. And here it's reminding me I can tap on this weird little icon here to view all of my devices, so. All right, so over here on the watch screen, it says you can take a tour of your watch. If you'd like to do that, you can tap start. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that for now. All right, and it's telling me don't miss a thing. The orange dot indicates notifications. That's actually a little harder to see now with that uh, orange slash there over on the watch bezel. 
All right, so now your Galaxy Watch Ultra is paired to your phone and you can do things like swiping down to access the quick panel or control panel. You can swipe up to access your apps. You can swipe from right to left to access your tiles. And you can swipe from left to right to access your notifications. And if you want to change your clock faces, you can press and hold here to customize or add new ones. You can also do some of this functionality here on your phone app. Otherwise, if you have any other questions about how to use your Galaxy Watch Ultra, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Galaxy Watch Ultra videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.